that production was incredible. It was, wasn't that it? That was insane. Yeah. That was, wow. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Hi, I'm Archie. I'm Molly. And uh, today we're going to be covering Mac Miller Circles. You chose this for today. I did. Yeah. We're doing two full album reactions this week, which will not happen early. <laughs> it's no. too much. Um, we did two because we had to stay true to the poll and do the forever story this week. Um, but we had a personal request for Circles by Mac Miller. Um, from my mom. She watches every reaction and after she watched um, the swimming reaction She sent me a text to ask me to thank our subscribers <laughs> for, <laughs> wow. for the recommendation. She nice. loves Mac Miller. She she's super super into him um, And she's been listening to him um, without me before me. Wow uh, So she asked for a circles reaction um, And it's her birthday today so I thought happy birthday. we should do it today. So happy birthday yeah. to my mother. I love you so much. Wish her a happy birthday in the comments. Mm -hmm. Thank her for birthing me. Yeah. And yeah. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, it's my mom's birthday. She's Mac Miller's biggest fan. And today we're going to react to circles yeah. for my mom. I want to give a shout out to my mom as well and my dad. I think they watch the channel and don't know what's going on. I just tell all their friends to go watch us and support they, us. They do ask us. They um, ask their friends to, to subscribe. Every time I see my dad, it's like, oh, you guys are at 17.9. <laughs> this came out um, January of 2020, right before, oh, right before the pandemic. COVID. So full disclosure, I did listen to this a couple of times when it, when it first came out. I haven't gone back to it, um, so I don't really remember much. You had um, a lot of other favorite albums in 2020. Yeah. So maybe um, you were distracted. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes you yeah. listen to something and kind of forget about it. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to so listen to it now. A revisit for you? Yeah, this is pretty much like a first reaction. It's kind of going to be the same. I don't really remember, to be honest. So this was uh, obviously released after he passed away already. Mm -hmm. He worked on a lot of it, from what I read. Mm -hmm. um, and then John Bryan. He worked with John Bryan again. Right. And uh, I think he finished the last three or four songs, Great. I believe. This one's called Circles, obviously. The last one's called Swimming. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be a companion piece, mm -hmm. like Swimming in Circles. Mm -hmm. And I also read that this was supposed to be actually part of a trilogy. Oh. Yeah, that was the intention anyway. So track number one is called Circles. That's so beautiful. Yeah. This is what it looked like right before you fall. Mm. Stumbling around, you've been guessing your direction, except you can't see it all. And I don't have a name, I don't have a name. No. Who am I to blame? Who am I to blame? No. I cannot be changed, I cannot be changed, no Trust me, I've tried mm -hmm. I'd stand up right at the start of the line Drawing circles Well, I drink my whiskey You sip your wine I love the bass, yeah I like everything mm. You're feeling sorry I'm feeling fine Don't you put any more stress on yourself It's one day at a time Drawing circles I love those keys mm. And the reverb on it Everything Yeah, that was beautiful. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. That was like insanely beautiful. Yeah. Wow, that was so sad. It was like subdued and wow, that was hard not to cry to. Mm. Wow, it was so sad. Yeah, it kind of mm. reminded me of Velvet Underground a little bit. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. The kind of like pacing of the... Like, yeah. um, kind of like Sunday morning. Yeah, you know, like I'm, around, I'm trying to think lines. of... Uh, yeah, like Sunday morning. Yeah. 
You like the Velvet Underground and Nico? Like yeah. the, with the banana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the cover? Yeah, I would agree with that. But yeah, wow, that was yeah. absolutely... That was... That wow! I just like the uh, I like the intricacies of obviously uh, that's John Bryan, mm-hmm. John Bryan's work there. Mm-hmm. All of the instruments. And, um, yeah, like, he and uh, he and Mac Miller produced I think the whole thing mm-hmm. from what I read. Um, but yeah, it's like very subtle. Yeah, it kind of continues on with this with swimming really because mm-hmm. swimming is very detailed mm-hmm. instrumentally. But that was a uh, yeah, those are really was very like super um, emotional uh, so intro. Yeah, 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 very emotional. It was like very sweet. Like it because yeah. it was it was so sad, but it had this, just this beautiful. It, wow! Yeah. I'm just that's that's already one of my favorite Mac wow. Miller songs. Wow. I love that. Let's listen to the rest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, track number two is called Complicated. <laughs> Damn. Outside is cloudy, but I like that better. Better. That's way too long, I'll just get mm. through the mm. day Without any complications <laughs> I like those scents When I'm way too young to be getting old And all I wanna do is look but I can't see, baby Talking to while you're talking to me, baby. We could make it easy. Mm. Wow. I like that. Mm. Mm. Inside my head is getting pretty cluttered. I try but can't clean up this mess I made Before I start to think about the future First can I please get through a day Without any complications I like how he's playing so much to see about <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had a feeling it just kept getting better yeah. and better and better and better first of all before we get to the lyrics let's talk about the instrument <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> that was insane that was lovely for sure the synth at the beginning reminded me of a KK Slater song <laughs> anyway I absolutely loved it yeah. all of the things that he kept bringing in mm-hmm. wow I feel like I'm already they're already like slipping out of my head and I yeah. can't remember them but Wow, I was just blown away. Mm -hmm. That song was perfect. When I like changed instrumentally at the end, that was incredible. Yeah. That was, it was. When he introduced that other synth that came in Mm -hmm. at the end, I'm like, oh man. Yeah. Because you know me. Yeah. Uh, I love my (laughs) synths. And then the lyrics. The lyrics um, were, I I feel like this and the last one, he was, he's kind of talking about like just trying to make day it by day. through day by day yeah. he's he's saying he's just trying to get through the day like it, it's like he's yeah I, I guess like if you think about the the title or the intention that what he was trying to do is swimming in circles oh wow right like yeah like it's like okay well i'm i'm kind of uh, yeah just going around in circles because in like swimming felt more um optimistic mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then he gets to the one point where he kind of goes yeah he goes back yeah again. that's so. actually very sad inside my head is getting pretty cluttered yeah relatable I know. Yeah. I was thinking about you, well, actually. <laughs> With some of these lyrics. I can't like, clean up this mess I yeah. made. <laughs> I think what I remember now from this was that it was it was a little too subdued for me at the time. Mm-hmm. At the time, I was listening to like Freddie Gibbs, Griselda, like hardcore gangster, mm-hmm. something more relatable. <laughs> and I think just I listened to this and I just kind of slipped through the cracks because mm-hmm. it wasn't 
it wasn't uh, the vibe I was looking for at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. Mm -hmm. uh, track number three is called Blue World. Can I just check the score quickly? Mm -hmm. Oh, no way. What? It's extra time. It's going to go to penalties. Which game is this? Manchester City and Real Madrid. Oh. It's a blue world hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Made me crazy. Wow. Might just turn around the 180. I ain't politic and I ain't kissing no baby. <laughs> the devil on my doorstep being so shady. Mm, don't trip. I let it go, but I never go with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, cool as fall weather. Fuck the bullshit, I'm here to make it all better with a little music for your lit. We ain't even worried, we just laughing, that's rich. You know how it goes, it ain't broke, don't fix. Think I lost my mind. Reality so hard to find. When the devil trying to call your line, but shit I always shine. Even when the light dim. No, I ain't God, but I'm feeling just like him. Oh, don't trip. I let it go, but I never go with it. Uh -huh. was incredible it was wasn't that it? was insane yeah that was wow that was everywhere <laughs> yeah that was like uh, the <laughs> i don't even know where to begin yeah the sample at, or whatever. at the very end there it yeah. was like going from up here yeah. to down here yeah. it was so crazy <laughs> wow i just wow that that <laughs> yeah I don't know what to say. The production was just absolutely incredible on that. Yeah. That, if you don't listen to that with headphones, you're you're doing a disservice. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, I I guess that one actually was uh I'll see John Bryan mm -hmm. who was a producer there. One of the guys from Dis Disclosure helped produce that one. Mm -hmm. That's why I, like when I looked down, I'm like, okay, that makes so much oh, sense. Okay. But wow, that was super impressive. That was I insane. like the way he, they chopped the sample and mm -hmm. like you said, the way they like mm -mm. panned it. Mm -mm. And <laughs> that one could have fit perfectly yeah. on, on yeah, swimming yeah, as yeah. well the the two songs before this yeah. were much more um or subdued and, subdued and they're singing yeah this, he was rapping on this one yeah 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 this yeah. one did this one was definitely kind of more upbeat yeah um right and i, th I thought that was needed to be honest oh yeah 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 as good. good as the first two were <laughs> um i think the mood yeah pull you out of your dish. yeah and that was that was like <laughs> and that was like swimming as well yeah like the way he he threw in um he put it together really like well. what's the use and yeah. you know, those other songs yeah. like kind of sprinkled in between mm -hmm. kind of to break it up and yeah. make sure that you know you're not crying fully yeah i loved how it like i loved everything the production was just yeah. wow i love the way um they introduce they introduce instruments mm -hmm. as, as they go along. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Mac Miller and, and John Bryan, they, mm -hmm. the way they Mesh. work together, yeah. wow. it's amazing. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just totally on the same page. Absolutely yeah. love that. Great. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to track number four, which is called Good News. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I love that. Hmm. I spent the whole day in my head. Do a little spring cleaning. I'm always too busy dreaming. Why can't it just be easy? Wow. Why does everybody need me to stay? Oh, I hate the feeling when you're high, but 
put you underneath the ceiling Got the cards in my hand, I hate them Yeah Get everything I need and I'm gone But it ain't stealing Can I get a break? I wish that I could just wow. Get out my goddamn way What is so it to say? There ain't a better time than today I know I say this all the time. That chord progression, I feel like that interpolated another song. Okay, do it again. I think I have a feeling what it is. That sounds like a... Uh... Oh my god, it does! Yeah, isn't it? Let's do it again. That was, throughout the whole song, yeah. that was an absolutely stunning song mm. i thought that it sounded very john bryan yeah wow but the whole song i was like this chord progression is the exact same chord progression yeah. from another song and it's that sam smith yeah song. sam smith yeah i'm not the only one it shout was, out to sam smith yeah that's a great song. i know he's watching <laughs> it's a beautiful chord progression yeah. and that was a beautiful song i feel so sad listening to this like hearing him say these things yeah knowing that he he passed away it just makes me so sad i agree with you it was hitting me right here yeah um it's it's like hard not to cry during these <laughs> songs and like i know i cried yeah. once and we had to cut out the whole thing um i can't i can't cry during an album because yeah. then i'll have to go through the rest of the video with with raccoon eyes yeah the um, lyrics yeah. are so emotional like that that was like so sad how he's talking about when he tells people how he's feeling they don't they don't want to hear any of it they only want yeah. to hear when he's right. when he's doing good and and he's not doing good yeah that was so sad for me it was uh it was really the music to be honest it doesn't sound like this song mm. but on swimming 2009 mm. that one is i find it hard to listen to yeah just it it sounded like he was <clears throat> he was struggling with like suicidal ideation like that's what it sounds like yeah and that makes me like feel like it's it's so sad knowing yeah. that he passed away 
Right. And these are like, he, this is like f from him, from the other side. And yeah. these are the kind of things that he's saying. That's so, that's so sad. Why does everybody need me to stay? Hmm. Damn. Well, let's let's move forward. Hopefully, something a bit more, uh, <laughs> more brighter. Uh, track five is called "I Can See." <laughs> Good. <laughs> So close, I can taste it. The men on the moon keep playing. Wow. Practical jokes, planning the mirrors and smoke that I fade away in. I'm switching location. Cause heaven too far when you live in the basement. Damn. I'm looking for balance, I'm in an oasis. Well, I need somebody to save me. Mm -hmm. Before I drive myself crazy. And all I know if life. It's but a dream and so are we Show me something, show me something This is like men I trust something and I they created was incredible yeah that was absolutely insane the chorus really reminded me like the vibe really reminded me of man i trust yeah it did like the untourable album Pretty i'm gonna much all their music. i'm gonna write a song on this screen <laughs> you need to listen to it it's a perfect song that was incredible yeah just amazing this, so many layers so many and like the the lyrics the lyrics are so sad yeah Luckily with that one, the like actual like the instrumentation, the, the instrumentation yeah. was less depressing. Less somber. Yeah, yeah, less, yeah. much less somber. Yeah. So even though the lyrics were super sad, because especially when he was saying things like, like, don't tell me to stop, like, let me keep going. Mm. I think he said until I cannot. Yeah. yeah. And knowing how he passed away, like, oh my God, like just so much of this, I'm like, oh my God, this is so sad. Like, this is painful. But luckily with that. The instrumentation was it was kind of um, spacey it was there's this one part where it kind of had like uh these keys that were higher and i was like oh what what song does that remind me of and it it was the outro to if you're familiar with childish gambino's uh because the internet there's a song called shadows kind of the last part of shadows the outro it it kind of reminded me of that okay uh track number six is called everybody everybody no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gonna die Oh, oh good. wow <laughs> Everybody's got a little 
just been crying right now i have not i just had a coughing fit at the end of uh at the end of that that was a beautiful outro when you just ruined it i, I know i'm really i'm really <laughs> really sorry anyway that was amazing yeah at the very beginning i was so scared because the piano I know. sounded yeah. so sad oh. and you know what it sounded like first of all it reminded me of um lover spit with, with oh okay. wow that's so sad yeah and then it also reminded me of like when they do like a sad piano in bojack hmm Sure. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna, this is actually yeah. gonna make me cry. Yeah, yeah. But thank God, it not, <laughs> yeah. like it wasn't a happy song, but it, it yeah. adding in the drums and stuff, it, yeah. it, it, it lifted it up a little bit. It that was, was a great song. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I, I love absolutely everything about this album so far. Yeah. Yeah, I, I absolutely adore it. Uh, let's keep going here. Mm -hmm. uh, track number seven is called Woods. Wow. Oh, in the back? Yeah. Things like this ain't built to last. I might just fade like those before me. And you need to let me know. Damn. When you leave the way, yeah. Then I'll come. This is my shit. Can I? Can I? The synths? Yeah. And the bass. Yeah. It's so groovy. Yeah. No run away, love. Hey, love. Heartbreak will have your bankrupt. Too many days in the days, better wake up. I put your face in the place where the space was. Nobody make you feel like you, but. And you don't know what you should do. You just looking for someone to make you move. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I make this plan and feel like home. It's us first time the door is closing. Mm. Put it together, then it break All the energy it takes It never stop Do I Do I Do I Love The build? Yeah. Can I Can I Yeah, I'm never going through the motions. I'm just trying to lay your body down slowly. We can only go up. We can only go up. Oh. Do I, do I, do I, oh. My favorite song so far. Yeah. Wow.
<laughs> the ascension at the very end of that. Yeah. That was like at the end of uh, So It Goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was absolutely incredible. Yeah. All of that. I loved like all of the little details like in the back. Yeah, I was, I, I had my eyes closed in the beginning there. Yeah. And yeah, go on, go on. No, sorry. you go ahead. Well, no, I was just saying like, or like you were saying, mm -hmm. like I, I just got lost in that. Yeah. Because I didn't know where, where that song was going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was, I was going to comment on this uh, maybe a couple of songs back, but even with swimming, I don't know how the beat's going to drop. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what, what kind of song it's going to, mm -hmm. it's going to turn into. But that one was, whew, yeah, like, yeah, was... I, I was lost in that one. I, I admit I didn't really follow the lyrics on that one. Oh, <laughs> there were so many levels to that. And mm -hmm. I just, to simplify, I guess in my mind, I felt like I was driving at night. Oh yeah. What was in the background? Um, like maybe like another synth or well, just like that. that um, it could have been a xylophone. Oh, I was about to comment on that as well. Yeah. Um, it's called a vibraphone. Sonically, it sounds like either like in between keys, keys and a xylophone. And a xylophone yeah. It's a vibraphone, which is like one of my favorite instruments it, also. It was beautiful. Synths, the groovy bass. Mm -hmm. It just, and then that um, in the beginning, the it's kind of like a pad, mm -hmm. like a drone, mm -hmm. drone sound. It reminded me of like a tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mm -hmm. And then when the when the groove came in, it felt like he would he left the tunnel and then you know the you know the bridge that we cross all the time and then you see the sun on the right side and then you see downtown but nighttime mm -hmm. that's what it felt like mm -hmm. but it felt like a i don't want to say video game or synth wave-ish but mm -hmm. like it, it just put me in that i don't know that it just that was just my vibe this is blowing my mind yeah i i absolutely adored swimming mm -hmm. i'm struggling with if i like this even yeah. more okay track number eight is called hand me downs Twinkle or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> wow. Wow. What an outro. Yeah. That was incredible. Yeah. Wow. I, I like you, you said during the song, I loved the little like sparkle. Like yeah. that was, it, it reminded me of like at night when, when a car drives past you. It's going like, imagine okay. the lights of a car. Sure, sure. And it just drives Like sonically though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But sonically. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the little sparkle. Right. Because it was like coming and then going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I absolutely loved that. I loved the guitar. Mm -hmm. I loved the, who was the feature? Yeah, I was reading this. His name is Baro Sura. Mm -hmm. and oh, he actually, yeah, it's right. It said his name on, on yeah. Genius. And he also did the uh, additional drums on that, too. Oh, wow. So, he had a beautiful um, voice. These songs feel, as I said, very, like, not hip-hop. Like, mm -hmm. it feels very um, indie, mm -hmm. right? It does feel indie. And so, like, when I hear it, maybe, like, a third into the song, I'm expecting, like, a guitar solo or something. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. some, like a breakdown of some sort. But mm -hmm. then he comes in and he raps. Mm -hmm. And he, he also did that in the last track in Woods. And um, he did it a couple times, actually, in Woods. And he, he sounds like he's his, he's featuring on his own album, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Like, yeah, because he can do both. He can he has a great voice for singing and then a great rapping voice, obviously. Mm -hmm. This is just a, a gorgeous album. Yeah. All right. Track number nine is called "That's on Me." That's on me. Mm. That's mm. on me. ending that wasn't hip-hop at all yeah i was gonna say that's the most like indie like well kind of yeah. folky that was so different and it yeah. was it was amazing and it's still like like for sure it still worked like it still fits mm -hmm. with everything else i hardly i i think reacted throughout that song i was just kind of lost in it i feel like a lot of these songs like mm -hmm. I'm just so absorbed by it that I, yeah. I, I don't even see anything. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just vibing to it. It's, yeah. Yeah, that was incredible. And that had a had more of a like a waltz type rhythm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was yeah. just, it was just beautiful. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's keep it moving then. Track number 10 is called Hands. No. <laughs> oh. Wow. Why don't you wake up from your bad dreams? When's the last time you took a little time for yourself? There's no reason to be soaked down. Rather fly around like there's no ground. Get the fuck out of my car, this ain't a taxi. They love to see me lonely, hate to see me happy. Call me what you want, she call me daddy. Got a knack for getting nasty. Every day we keep a tally, yeah. Oh, it's true, I want it badly. Hit the zoom, I be moving like an athlete. 
Now concentrate. No reason to be that upset. I'm busy tripping about some shit that still ain't even happened yet. <laughs> I keep it honest as honesty gets. Don't know why I'm always talking if I'm not making sense. I spent my life living with a lot of regrets. You throw me off my high horse, I'll probably fall to my death. And I, I bet you wish you had this. Cause carrying this way to break your glass knees. Yeah, don't need no dough for fuck the back seat. No, I stay behind the wheel and never have speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felt like we needed that track <laughs> yeah that was that was uh yeah. that was kind of a good separation from yeah. from the it still it still fits into the album yeah but yeah there was a little bit more optimism on that mm -hmm. one where you're saying stuff like uh, there's no reason to be so down the line no reason to be that upset i'm busy tripping about some shit that still yeah. didn't even happen yet yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds like somebody i know <laughs> i love that i love all of this album yeah yeah truly such a great yeah. album yeah Let's keep it moving. Mm. Uh, track number 11 is called Surf. Where are you going? Mm. You're not come to. The whole world is open. A playground for me and you. And we could be fine. Shit. Who the hell knows? It's your eyes and your ears and your mouth and your nose. Head and your shoulders, your knees and your toes. guitars on this have been incredible yeah i was i was waiting for for that to be honest yeah. like i was waiting for a guitar solo <laughs> <laughs> well i just i just wanted like a musical breakdown not necessarily mm -hmm. a, a guitar solo mm -hmm. but wow that's that's i needed that yeah, that was that was that, amazing that was so so yeah. so good i feel like but, i haven't really appreciated production until i started listening with proper headphones yeah, yeah. and for me production i've compared it to this before but production and, and mixing and stuff for me is like color, color grading, grading and yeah. in in like photos and and video right and i love 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 color grading yeah i just it just it it just really it brings out the dimension it's an experience yeah, yeah. It, it makes it 3d for, for sure even 4d because it feels like you're you're in it this is officially the last song of the album. Mm -hmm. um, well, we will be doing the bonus tracks because yeah. when we don't do the bonus tracks, people are upset. So we, yeah, we, we, we don't want to upset you guys. So the last one, track 12, is called Once a Day. Once a day I rise Once a day I fall asleep with you Once a day I try but I can't find a single word That's beautiful. Wonder what they know. 
that soft um, synth. details yeah in that song i really loved the like <clears throat> softness of that song it was it didn't sound sad yeah it, but it was very gentle i was thinking of it in the context of um of the first album mm -hmm. so like after this one it'll be the first song of the of swimming now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it wasn't uh it wasn't like a downer yeah you know what i mean yeah and i i think I think he really did a good job because I was afraid the first few songs. Yeah, I was, like, oh, man, I, I was worried. Better not be it was as be, amazing as those songs were. I I was I was yeah. truly, and we still have the bonus tracks yeah, yeah, yeah. left. But I I really saw I was gonna end up crying. During the <laughs> but yeah, it it really obviously we'll talk about it more after we do the bonus yeah. tracks. But it, it it's really been such a such a beautiful yeah. album, and that that song, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like sad as such right. it was just very soft everything about it was so soft and and gentle mm -hmm. i just loved it okay well uh, we'll cover the next two tracks now the first bonus track is called right wow <laughs> oh yeah, it's been a while without your face the drums. I saw yeah. your picture on the wall the other day. I'm waiting for the light to change. You ask me how I been, well, I'm good, I can't complain. You no, know, it hasn't been easy lately. Wow. You don't want to leave me, baby. When it's right then, it's right yeah. Days turn Damn. into nights Conversations turn into fights We gon' be alright Love turn into life Girl, you been burning so bright Let me turn off the lights I've been itching for your love Don't want to feel a single thing If it ain't your touch I get drunk and become blunt Just want to stumble into us But baby, don't stop now Cause it ain't over Yeah Years ago I was so dumb Clueless, young and stupid But look at who I have become I love those guitars I ain't gonna break your heart I promise it's always safe Baby, don't cry now. Pull me close. I know it hasn't been easy lately, but I 
know when it's right then it's right Turn into fights, we gon' be alright. Love turn into light. Girl, you've been burning so bright. Let me turn off the lights. Stay awake till the morning. It ain't always great, but it's never boring. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. When it's right, then it's right. Alright. interesting that was dope yeah i love that the guitar is on that yeah or just, the guitar is in the whole album but that the guitar is really beautiful. stood out to me yeah there. they were so beautiful and i also like the drums that kept like the kind of dramatic drums that kept coming in like at the every at, four count yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And I didn't even have a snare. There was no snare. It was mm. just uh, just a kick. Mm -hmm. it, it kept uh, kept the beat moving, but um, it was just beautiful. Yeah. What's Thundercat on the bass? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I didn't think even, he's uh, didn't even notice. He's on the bass on uh, the last two songs. But yeah, the the guitar was amazing. Yeah, that was that was a really that was a really beautiful. Song. Yeah, like in the beginning, I guess it was a uh, there was this jolt of like these sounds that mm -hmm. that weren't in the album. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, where's this going? But they use it sparingly. Mm -hmm. And it was just it was just enough it was perfect all right so this will be the last song mm -hmm. uh, track 14 is called floating <laughs> oh mm. yeah there's a room somewhere up above the tree Wow. Well, once you get there, you don't ever want to leave. No, no, no. No, when I can finally get away. When I can finally get away. Wow. I need to see it with my own eyes. Oh, the horns. Hope it remembers and it knows my face. very John Bright. Yeah. Everything about that song was amazing. <laughs> the yeah. horns. Yeah. When those came in. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But the bass. Thundercat. With the ha 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 part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. That was insane. That yeah. was that was wild. He really killed it. Yeah. He really killed it. Was it a female vocalist? There was a female but vocalist. But it doesn't, it doesn't see who it was. Let me just double check quickly. 
Because that was that was that was really beautiful. Yeah, Carmel Eccles, Aaron Stevenson, and Samantha Nelson. Um, well, shout out to them. Shout out to them. Yeah, that was absolutely stunning. I yeah. liked that it's called floating, and it had a really kind of dreamy, eerie sound yeah. to it, especially with the female vocalists. I was also going to mention, yeah, like in, like with the with the lyrics, you know, mm -hmm. like above the clouds, above the trees. Yeah. When I can finally get away, I just kind of picture this as like. Uh, I don't want to say a happy end. Oh, mm -hmm. kind of a happier ending, you know. Mm -hmm. We obviously know what happened. Mm -hmm. But this kind of makes me feel like, okay, like he's kind of like an angel. He's ascended mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a great way to end it as yeah. far as like more positive reflection on yeah. on his on this. I, on I, I did think like once a day, I also thought that was a, a great yeah, it would have both, been of, them, great both of them worked. End. Both of them um, would have been a great way yeah. to, to end the album. That definitely sounded more positive yeah. than once a day yeah. but once a day also did sound more positive than and also once a day i think completes the loop yeah. better yeah in my opinion but wow that that was yeah. just stunning this entire album has been exceptional oh you liked it <laughs> i don't know if you could tell i did appreciate that he threw things in there though to break it up to like like as, a break from relief, the like yeah. a break from because there were songs in there that were so so like they like were painful to listen to mm -hmm. because they were so sad especially knowing what happened to him that made it even more painful to listen to yeah. because some of it sounded really really pertinent i just i thought it, it just absolutely exceptional like that such a strong 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. album that that was just beautiful you know like recently i've been telling i was telling you like okay um I'm not gonna listen to any more hip hop unless yeah. it's on the channel because I'm kind of I don't say I'm tired of hip hop, but I kind of want to listen to other stuff. Yeah, this is not really hip hop. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't and think it was super hip hop. Yeah, um, it was just a, it was just enough, but mm -hmm. like I thought I thought it was perfect. It was amazing. Yeah. I, I uh, this is definitely personally one of my favorite mm -hmm. um, Once reactions it was done so far. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry. I Mac hope I didn't hijack too much no, your, no. your reaction, but like yeah, I Mac Miller is one of my favorite artists. Yeah for sure but that was that that blew me away so um thank you to everyone for the recommendation thank you to my mom for pushing me to she didn't push me to react to it for her birthday i just did that because i thought it was appropriate yeah. so happy birthday to my mom happy birthday as always if you made it this far um thank you for watching thank you so we much we really, really appreciate your support really appreciate you all so much yeah please like and subscribe if you haven't done so yeah um, i mean like sometimes you watch a channel and you think you're subscribed but you're not actually subscribed so make sure yeah. you're subscribed so that concludes our, our video yeah we'll have a great you, uh, weekend yeah see you next, we'll see you next time yeah bye, bye.